In today's video, adventurers, we are going to repel. I want to see what changes the cargo refactor has made to outposts like these. Will it be more deadly? Will RMC trade routes from Repel still be viable? Let's find out together. As we approach Repel, you'll notice that there's a slight change <laughs> to how Repel looks. Now, there's this new structure, a freight elevator right there in the open. So this does mean that you will need to head to the cargo terminal and then buy your RMC in whatever size boxes. However, in multiple patches through wave one, I have checked this. It seems that there's a limit of 100 SCUs that you could buy from Repel. If this number stands to live, then I'm not sure if RMC is going to be a viable trade route like it is currently. We will buy one SCU since I can't do anything else with it at the moment. Don't forget to lower the elevator so you can access the warehouse. Gosh, the soundscape is so good. Ooh, that was a neat little animation. Now we should be able to find our cargo here. As I said before, I've tried this a few times and so far the freight elevators, at least at Repel, have been very buggy. And I haven't been able to successfully call my cargo as of yet. However, this works just like all the other freight elevators. The only difference here, you're in a heavily contested PVP area without any protection from the freight elevator, totally exposed to the rim around Rappel and anyone who wants to come flying in. We'll give this another moment to see if this loads. All right, apparently it's still broken, but as with the other freight elevators, you would raise it up, And once it's raised up, you have to then manually load it onto your ship. It is important for me to mention that there might be an auto load function. However, when I did bring my C1 here in all my previous testings, I was not able to get it to work. I know that's a new function of 3.24, so it is possible that I'm missing a step that I don't realize needs to be done. Or it's also possible that because the freight elevator is kind of janked up at this location, that the rest of it is as well. So take that as a grain of salt. If you run RMC, be prepared for these changes. It is going to be more dangerous because the time spent here is going to be much longer. Even if there is auto load, you still have a timer that you have to wait for. In one regard, I'm kind of happy about this because it encourages multi-crew. But gone will be the days of easy RMC runs, whether it's because of the limited SCUs and or because of the time spent at each of these locations. I'm interested in knowing what you think of these changes. Are you happy that there's more reasons to have multi-crewed experiences? Are you upset that your favorite trade route might be potentially ruined now? Like and subscribe for all future content. And adventures, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.